So in this video, I'm going to show you how to easily and quickly make your own guitar picks at home. And the first thing I need to say, if you are a young person or if for whatever reason you are not, um, you don't feel safe using sharp objects, then you should have a grown up or another person help you with this. Uh, this requires some cutting and every time you work with sharp objects, you need to be very careful. So if you're a child or a teenager or a young adult, uh, then you maybe you should ask a parent, an older sibling, an adult to help you with cutting. I uh, just want to say that up front. Now I'm going to use uh, different cards. Um, some of you are about to watch my guitar lessons and you're stuck at home and you may not have a guitar pick at home to play with. Guitar picks come in different shapes and sizes and some are very heavy, some are very light and thin. This is a medium, this is a light, <clears throat> this is a very heavy one. This is a, I forget what this is called, turtle shell, something like that. So they come in different shapes and sizes and thickness gauges. Uh, I don't have my favorite kind of pick here and it's in my classroom and I can't get it in my classroom for obvious reasons. Um, I usually use a very small pick for picking fast notes. It's a jazz three pick, but I can't show it to you right now. Uh, <clears throat> but I will show you how to quickly make a pick at home. And I'm gonna use some cards. Uh, you can use a credit card, that's not good. You can use, uh, I have a Costco card here, zero dollars on there. I have a Culver's, uh, there's I think 20 cents on this, my son's card, let me cut that up. I have a couple of hotel cards that are no longer in use. Um, you know, with the economy being so weak right now, maybe you can cut up a couple of your parents' credit cards and have them uh, not use them. Just kidding. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. Just a little joke. Um, I'm going to use this Costco card here because uh, it's nice and colorful. And I'm going to try to cut out a pick with the word Costco in there. And again, this is, this is a little bit dangerous. I'm using a garden. Uh, I don't know what this is called, but it's a garden cutter. Like uh, this will cut tree branches and big bush branches so be very careful if you're going to use this ask a grown-up to help so i'm gonna <clears throat> i'm thinking maybe something like this shape like almost like a triangle and uh i'm just gonna start by cutting a smaller piece i didn't try this before the video so and i'm a lefty so I th i'm actually i'm actually ambidextrous but I think this is for the right hand. Yeah, yes it is. So if the tool is right-handed, you gotta use your right hand. So I'm cutting smaller pieces first, and then I'll adjust the size as I move along. Okay, so here's what I have so far. This is about half an inch wide, and maybe an inch and a half tall at this point. It's the height of the card. Okay, there's an angry goose out there. <laughs> so, and now I'm gonna make this shorter in, in height. I'm gonna cut right above the word Costco there because I wanna keep the word Costco. And again, I gotta use my right hand because it won't work otherwise. So I'm gonna cut that. Try to get kind of close to the word Costco. Okay, so I have that. And now I gotta think a triangle shape that resembles something like this, okay? So if you wanna trace it, you can. See with a pencil or something, or maybe just hold it like this, maybe that's even better, and just cut. See, I'm holding it, I can't show you, so I gotta twist my arm, and just cut the, uh, the outside edges, maybe like this, okay? So far, so good. 
Okay, so let's see what we got. We have this, maybe. And then I'm just gonna cut the back corners a little bit. You want lots of round corners. And if this is not perfect looking, that's okay. Uh, most picks are done, are made on a machine. So it's gonna be, it's gonna look a little bit imperfect and that's fine. You gotta be very careful when you, when you, when you cut like this, you gotta keep your fingers away from the blade. Now I have something like this so far. It's kind of ugly actually, but <laughs> let's see if I can make it a little bit better looking. Um, I have to make the point a little bit pointier. And I don't know if I can keep the word Costco in there. I think I have to cut it out because I got too close to it and that's okay. Having the right shape is more important than keeping the word Costco in there. So let's see if I can round it out more. Keep your fingers away from the blades. Do not do this if you're a young child. I have a somewhat decent pick right now. Um, now, when you look at the point of that triangle shape, uh, each pick has a different kind of point there. Some are very pointy, um, some are not so pointy. You see that? This is a bit pointier than most picks, so I'm gonna I'm gonna smooth that out a little bit just a little bit just a tiny bit okay now it's too square and it's okay to stop and slow down a little bit so you don't cut too much have some tea maybe so here's what i have so far <clears throat> All right, that's the shape. And what I would do last, again, it's not a perfect shape, that's okay. If you have some, if you have some sandpaper at home, just sand the edges. And this you can do yourself because sandpaper won't really hurt you. So maybe you can have your mom, dad, older sibling, cut out the shape and then you can do the sanding with some this is very fine sandpaper i'm a classical guitarist and some of you in my classroom have seen me explain how this works for classical guitarists how this works for classical guitarists classical guitarists will uh, grow longer fingernails on the right hand for plucking and then use the fingernail to make the fingers nice and round and then use a very fine uh, sandpaper this is 2000 grade which is very very fine to make the thing you know, very smooth so when you pluck the strings it sounds very smooth so that's what I'm using here you wanna almost lost my pick there you want to um, sand down each side so you have no sharp edges and especially the pointer side on both sides of the pick uh, this might take about a minute to sand it down. Uh, use the finest sandpaper you have in the house. If you don't have sandpaper, and if you can't go get some, then just don't use sandpaper. Um, maybe you can use um, your mom's fingernail file. That might work. Just be creative. Just be very careful with, with sharp tools. Uh, this is almost done. Now I really wanted to do this video, to make this video, because uh, some of you may not have a pick at home and some of the lessons that I'm about to share um, require the use of a pick. I usually do not play with a pick because I'm a classical guitarist, but um, a great majority of guitarists do play with a pick. And I just want to make sure that if you don't have a pick in the house, just make yourself a couple of picks so you can use almost done so you can use with my lessons that are coming up um, I did a survey in my classroom once 
at our school and out of some 500 kids in our school I believe there were about I don't want to exaggerate 35 to 40 percent of the kids said they had a guitar in the house so that was awesome I, I, that was a few years back I don't know two or three years ago I think and uh, that was quite encouraging so that's one reason why I'm making um, some guitar lessons available for our e-learning period because if you have a guitar or piano at home I want to give you a chance to practice on them now we we play guitars and pianos in music class about three or four times a year but um, of course you get a lot more done if you practice on your own at home every day every other day I think I'm done with this pick it's very nice and smooth uh, it does look a little rough at certain points but it, it's really nice and smooth and I think it's a good size and uh, here's how you hold a pick by the way um, just in case you, you're wondering I would use the side of my index finger not the flat side behind the fingernail but the side of it so it's too long already and just put the pick on there on the side and you want to bring the thumb and rest the thumb on top of there so without the pick you have this can you see that not this well there's no one right way for everybody so you'll see different guitarists hold the pick very different ways so that's fine generally speaking you want to do this side of the index finger pick goes on there with a pointer coming out a little bit see and you want to bring your thumb this way and here's the basic way to hold it with a pointer sticking out see uh, let me try this on a guitar and see how it works hold on okay so this is my daughter's guitar she is 10 years old and uh, she already has a pick in there that's a good place to keep your pick by the way I'll show you how to do that in a minute this is a heavy pick regular size though but the, the gauge this is a heavy pick and uh, here's the one I made let's try a few things see how it works strumming it's pretty decent let's see for <laughs> for picking some um, some notes some individual maybe a scale let's see okay for my own taste I would like maybe a little bit of a bigger pick because I have bigger hands um, that's my first impression while I'm playing this G scale small for me I would make it a little bit bigger for my own hands I miss a couple of notes here and there but generally speaking it's working pretty well if I didn't have a pick at all I needed one this would do the job see I, I, I miss a couple of notes here and there because it's too small a little getting used to so um, that's a quick inexpensive way to make your own pick 
at home out of different cards. I used a, I looked at a hotel card, there's a Culver's card, Costco card, uh, an expired credit card. Um, I think that's it. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to write them at the bottom of the video. For my students who are watching this, uh, you have my email. You can send me an email if you have any questions. I hope this has been helpful. Thank you for watching. If you watch all the way to the end, good for you. Try to make a couple of different picks for yourself. And before I close this video, here's how you. Here's one way to keep your pick and not lose it. You can use either side of the fingerboard there, and you want to put the pick under the string, under, and then push it on top of the next one and then push the tip of the pick under the next string. So now you have that, all right? You see what I did there? So under the first string there, whatever side you go to, doesn't matter. First you go under, over, under, and that's gonna hold the pick there. Let me show you again. I go under, over, and under, and there you have it. Well, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Take care. See you in the next video.